हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 64 फॉर लर्निंग मेमन सिस्टम इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जेएस आई विल अपलोड सून 61 62 एंड 63 इट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बट आई विल अपलोड इट अपलोड दैट सून ओके इन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियोस एक्चुअली टीचर कैन अपलोड द असाइनमेंट ओके ऐड द असाइनमेंट एंड शो द असाइनमेंट एंड इन द यूजर डैशबोर्ड और यू कैन से द स्टूडेंट डैशबोर्ड student can see the assignment whatever the teacher has been assigned okay so here we have a uh, this is the actually uh, student uh, sorry teacher dashboard when we go to the student dashboard here i have created the sidebar when we click on the assignments you can see the assignment title detail and teach now in this video i'm going to take action student just mark the assignment has been done or not All right so he can uh, when he click on the assignment then assignment will be marked as done or uh, not done okay so first of all we need to change in the model here we have a model and in this model we have a uh, uh, say status right student status you can say student status equal to uh, model start boolean right default false default false and we have to add null equal to true because we are adding this uh, uh, field after uh, some adding the data okay you can add null or you have to empty the table right so i'm not going to empty the table i'm just going to add null make migration okay migrate right and then run server okay so let's go to the student assignment we need to take action right so first of all uh, let's create here one more constant constant uh, assignment status set assignment status set assignment status equal to use state empty right and uh, my assignments when it uh, fetch the my assignments it will do nothing by default is empty when we click on the mark as done so here we need to create a button we can say action right here we are td and we will say to assignment status equal equal to success not equal equal to success not equal equal to success then we will show the button right so mark as done okay mark as done so on click on click mark as done right so mark as done and uh, class okay sorry class name actually button button success right so we have here the button hmm. what it is now saying let's see we have mark is done is not defined no problem we will define it we will define it like uh, enroll status right so enroll status huh? source uh, component course detail okay so we have uh, enroll status here i will copy this whole right and uh, in the student assignment paste it here and we just need to change the function name right to change the function name and what we have in the url 
can you see that my assignments so I'll copy this this function is uh, if you see that this function is list create API view it means it can show the data and create the data okay so we can use this so my assignment hmm, and uh, here we are so my assignment and I can pass just a student ID right so student ID I will pass here okay we don't need the course ID actually we actually need to pass the status right so we need to pass the status right so my assignment we will actually we are uh, updating the data hmm? so this will not work actually assignment hmm? when we are clicking on this we need a assignment ID actually we need a assignment ID so here assignment ID and we will need the assignment ID and we will pass the status true we just need to pass the status true we need to put put and update assignment actually update assignment don't need this actually need this uh, assignment ID actually update assignment okay form data status equal to this you have successfully completed you have successfully completed this assignment you have successfully completed this assignment right now in the URL this update assignment uh, update assignment student ID and this will be let's say okay update assignment no problem let's go to the view and I'll copy this and update assignment here update assignment and this will be retrieve retrieve destroy api view list api view uh, list create api view list create list create retrieve destroy api view okay so this function uh, this uh, view is belongs to retrieve the data destroy the data okay so this is our update assignment and uh, here the assignment actually a uh, url assignment this is assignment id so this will be pk integer pk right so integer pk update assignment copy <coughs> sorry <coughs> and uh, we are putting the put method and status equal to true passing the assignment id form data is this set and roll status assignment status equal to success okay so if success then what we will do uh, we will do will not show we will say uh, completed right uh, should we show in the button or uh, let's show in the span actually uh, class badge bg primary completed hmm? let's go here what we have now okay swell is not defined no function swell okay we need this swell sweet alert it means sweet alert Huh? yes okay now let's refresh the page here uh, what it is request failed uh, 404 my assignment to response to page not found okay what we have changed 
oh god actually if we need one more this we have removed that hmm? actually, this will be my assignments where it is yes it's okay now oh teacher id what the hell is teacher id 239 in the view 239 239 teacher id we are passing my assignments mm, my assignment list actually sorry 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 <coughs> so oh button is so big we actually we don't need this too much big buttons set assignment status where we are setting this assignment status when you set here okay let's small this button mm, button s m right fine so let's click here mark as done and when we are clicking here or uh, one thing more assignment data row dot id can we can we pass this okay let's see let's see okay, refresh this page console uh, click here uh, why this is not working okay let me check this okay so I have found the solution for our uh, problem first of all when we are use the put method then uh, I am going to pass everything because we are not creating here the form so I am going to pass everything because it expects everything in the serializer okay so in, in the serializer I have also added the uh, student status and here we have a we have a function mark as done I am passing ID title detail existing data right in the same we are passing here and in the form i'm just changing the student status default it's false now we are passing the true okay and in the put method it will change and it will reload the page okay so let's see here when we click on this mark done then it will be completed okay and uh, you can also see in the uh, here you can see that this is yes right so now we have uh, completed our user dashboard now let's go to the teacher dashboard and uh, here we have a course and assignments they have a two assignments okay so let's show the uh, assignment status okay so user list and show assignment and we have a show assignment let's go here show assignments and uh, chapter detail okay so let's show here okay so here we will show status we will show the status according to the condition so we will say uh, why we are adding here the chapter right mm. show assignments this is oh actually we need to show here the row this is row row title row this row status okay so student status actually okay so click here paste here student status so row equal to student status equal equal to true then we will show here uh, what we have the design let's copy this show assignments let's uh, paste it here okay so 
student status equal equal to false then we will show here actually we need to show this both things incomplete okay pending or you can say pending and this will be warning and this will be success completed right so here you can see that this is showing completed oh uh, why okay we need to add td fine td td right here okay so now student can add assignment uh, sorry teacher can add assignment student will uh, here let's see the flow the student list he can add the assignment teacher can add the assignment click on this see the assignments and here is the status let's add here the status student status right student status and here the dashboard uh, student will go to the assignments and he can see and he can take action okay so it's already completed so teacher can see that okay so we have completed the 64th video i think we have completed the assignment flow now in the next uh, upcoming video we will work on the quiz teacher can add the quiz student can attempt the quiz and then uh, teacher can see what has been attempted and uh, what's what what the thing like we are assigning the like the assignments we will also uh, make the quiz system right so thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned with the core artisan lab and please also add your ideas in the comment section for the next project because this project is about to complete okay so i'm going i think i'm going very fast so yeah this is all your you know motivation so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you so much